Hello everyone. We are happy to have Mr. Rohit with us. He has qualified DDA examination for assistant architect uh, for this year 2024. And uh, we uh, are going to have a small discussion with him and talk about his insights for this examination, how he has prepared. So uh, congratulations firstly, Rohit, on Thank the you, election. Sir. Thank you uh, very much. So let me start uh, by first asking you right away about the selection procedure for DDA. So okay. I think exam was the main criteria, but other than the yes. examination, is there any other criteria for the selection? Like, is there any interview or something after the exam score as well? Uh, okay, sir. I'll get into this. Um, basically, uh, DDA conducts this exam as a direct recruitment. Uh, what it means is they just uh, give you the give you a computer based test and ask you to clear it. And whoever uh, uh, gets the uh, uh, the topmost num uh, marks uh, with respect to the available vacancies gets into the job. Uh, there is no interview as such for this. Uh, interviews would be conducted only for higher posts than this, uh, like assistant director. Uh, but um, the present post doesn't prompt an interview from DDA. It's only the examination which you need to concentrate on. And once the, once you clear the exam, there will be a shortlist released. And after the shortlist, there will be a document verification done. And uh, uh, the final result will be released after that. Okay, so thank you for that uh, brief uh, explanation on it. Uh, as far as examination is considered now, I mm -hmm. as far as I recall the timeline, the notification was released around May in 2023, and the exam yes. was conducted in the late August of 2023. Yes, precisely. Uh, so, yep. And uh, the exam I think was for 120 marks. So, yes. when uh, if I ask about your preparation, uh, mm -hmm. when did you start? Did you right away start it after the notification was released, or were you already uh, preparing for the requirement test? What was your approach for the preparation of the examination? Uh, the thing is, I have been preparing for uh, the exams uh, continuously. Even uh, the previous year uh, ex DDA exam of planning assistant, I uh, uh, gave the exam. I got short shortlisted, but mar na very narrowly missed out on the select list. Uh, so I've been preparing for exams continuously. And apart from this, I've been preparing for CPWD and uh, various other exams. So it was a continuous process. But DDA syllabus uh, prompted us uh, uh, a different, uh, a bit different approach because it has a lot of quant reasoning aptitudes and a uh, few other additional topics in addition to the uh, various architecture exams. Uh, one of the examples which I can give is uh, surveying and leveling, which is a which is a DDA exclusive topic, which I can say. Uh, so yeah, uh, these specific areas I started concentrating after the notification got released in May. Um, and uh, But it was a continuous process. Uh, in addition to whatever the requirement was there for DDA that was started from uh, the date of notification of the exam. Okay, so if I ask you about your preparation strategy, how should you, how did you prepare for the examination? Because it would be helping helping the future aspirants who are actually planning to clear requirement tests. So, what was your approach? Did you make any notes yourself, handmade notes, or did you go it topic by topic as per the official syllabus? What was your approach, or what was your take for the exam preparation? Uh, the thing is, I had uh, collected the KP classes. Uh, uh, materials and all these things for the exam. So I went through uh, these thoroughly, didn't make my specific notes. Personally, I don't prefer making uh, notes myself. Uh, what I do is I go uh, go for highlighting, which is a more faster and eff uh, effective method, which I believe. I do this and uh, once I've gone through the whole material once or twice, I, I just look at the highlighted points that would be uh, uh, very sufficient for me to recall. So that is how uh, I go about the preparation and coming to um, the uh, quant reasoning aptitude part of it, uh, that requires a specific uh, um, sort of a preparation. You need to uh, go topic by topic. Uh, you can refer the DDA previous year question papers uh, uh, with regards to the various topics. 
um, for example, in the, pre uh, in the previous years, they would have given, uh, for example, in quantita quantitative aptitude, you have topics like uh, time and work, uh, you have topics like boat and stream and all these things. And this would uh, require uh, topic-wise preparation. Um, and uh, for this, I uh, referred uh, some uh, videos on YouTube uh, and some random materials online to solve the problem. Uh, so that is how uh, concentrate I concentrated on this part of the examination. Okay, so that's actually a valuable insight where you are giving importance to those 40 marks of general yes. awareness, general yes. aptitude, and yes. English and reasoning. Yes. So uh, other than uh, so anything about the score, uh, do you have any idea on the cutoffs or what was your score or this for this examination? Brief idea probably on out of 120. Uh, yeah, the out of answer case, what I calculated uh, was I was getting uh, um, 60, 60, around 65, I guess. But uh, after raising the objections, I was confident of uh, getting something around uh, se uh, something in between 70 to 75. I guess that is how it has turned out, uh, which is mentioned in the uh, final result. I've got uh, uh, marks of uh, around 71 and a half, if I'm not wrong. Um, 71.7, I guess, to be precise. Uh, so I think, yeah, the overall cutoffs uh, hover around uh, this much every year uh, in the DDA exam. Since I think vacancies was less this time, it got up to 70. The previous year, uh, uh, planning assistant uh, vacancies, it you had cutoffs of around 65 or 64. Uh, if you belong to unreserved categories, this time it's about uh, 75 and uh, the previous year it was around 68 or something. So uh, you can take, you can consider 70 as a cutoff number. I think if you aim for around, I think you should aim for 90 and uh, try getting somewhere around 80 marks to be like for sure about, uh, like you can, you can be assured that mostly you'll be getting into the job. Okay, so that is so, how I saw it. Okay, okay. That uh, a wonderful uh, discussion with you, Rohit. Thank you for those insights, and I'm sure uh, this discussion will be useful for our future aspirants for DD and also other requirement tests. My uh, thank, yeah, thank you, and thanks a lot for being a part of our KPK. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Very grateful to to you for all the materials. Um, it it wouldn't have been possible uh, without the uh, without your um, support in such a short time because I was in my in the middle of my internship at Niti Aayog as well in Delhi. So uh, during that time, the uh, I needed the thing from the K, from KP classes for my preparation. So it wouldn't have been possible without you guys also. And thank you and very grateful to you as well for. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Thanks.